Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4. So in this episode, I believe I'm going after the Brotherhood of Steel. Surplus power should translate to increased efficiency and productivity. Dr. Watson. Did you need something? Sean says it's time. Oh, well I guess it's been coming. I suppose we should get moving. Let's go, Rosalind. Sean says it's time. What now? I'm still working over the code that Robotics sent over. The algorithm is a mess. It's not even close to peak efficiency. I know, I know, but we need to move quickly on this. Dr. Orman has done most of the hands-on work, so I'll let her explain the basics to you. Okay, thanks. Is this really exciting, or is it just me? So, you know that the Brotherhood's main operation is at the airport, right? I'm aware of that, yes. Okay, good. If they were a little less intelligent, we wouldn't even be talking about this. We'd have just swarmed them with synths. But they're not idiots. They've managed to generate an EM field that's messing with our ability to relay in. What sort of EM field? What's it doing? Basically, just scattering any suitable complex signals, like the ones from our relay, preventing us from getting close. So the immediate area around their encampment is a no-go. They don't, however, have the entire airport covered. We can relay you in to a point at the edge of the airport, and then you can get in and take down the generators. Am I gonna know these generators when I see them? You should. Yeah. They're just blanketing the whole spectrum, so there should be quite a light show. You'll have surprise on your side. Should give you some time before they can organize a real defense. For every generator you take down, it means we can start relaying in synths, giving you even more of an advantage. And... Oh! I almost forgot. Take these. And these would be... Oh, you'll like this. This thing, and I haven't come up with a good name for it yet, it basically deploys a beacon marker. Wherever they land, we can lock onto them and relay synths directly to that position. If there's a hot spot, you can drop synths right on it. We've only got a few of these, so put them to good use. Don't go tossing them into the bay. What are these reinforcements supposed to do? They're going to help you buy some time while you're completing the real objective. If nothing else, they'll take a few bullets meant for you. Your real job will be to reach Liberty Prime. You know the deal with that, right? Uh, no. What's Liberty Prime? Evan can give you the rundown. Right? Sure. Liberty Prime was a pre-war experiment by the military. The Brotherhood found it when they moved to the Capital Wasteland. They never could get it up and running. Until they got help from Dr. Lee. What did she do? Designed the power system for it. Small, but powerful enough to get the thing moving. And shoot it. And apparently, throwing bombs. Now, Dr. Lee had access to everything on Liberty Prime. I mean, everything. While we don't have it all written down, we've got enough. We know what it can do, and we know how to take advantage of that. We've taken everything we know, made a few modifications based on what we think they've done with it in the past ten years, and, this part was my idea, uploaded the whole thing into a modified synth capable of delivering the virus directly into Liberty Prime. The little guy is going to be exposed and vulnerable, so you'll have to keep an eye on him. Make sure he doesn't get shot, you know? What exactly is this virus going to do for us? Well, if nothing else, it'll take over the weapon systems and establish their airship as a primary target. You can figure out what happens next. So your end goal is ultimately pretty simple. Get to the robot, then hold the position while the synth does his thing. Oh, and don't worry. We'll pull you out of there before everything explodes. If you've got any questions, this is where you ought to ask. If not, they're probably ready for you upstairs in the relay room. What happens to Liberty Prime after this? He'll have several hundred tons of airship crashing down on top of him. That's about it. If you've got any questions, this is where you ought to ask. Okay. Have we got a plan B? Seriously? No, this is it. Don't worry, it's going to work. If you've got any questions... Mm-hmm. What have I got for backup? With our reactor online, once the field is down, we can throw everything we've got at them. And believe me, we will. If you've got any questions, this oh, for God's sakes. No questions. Let's Why do, do this? this. Why right, do they keep luck. repeating that? I'll send word that you're on your way up. But I can tell she's excited about having the reactor Use the relay to reach the airport. Can do. Alright, this is going to be fun. I haven't actually assaulted we'll the Predwin with the Institute before, so... Curious as to how this is going to go.
I am kind of surprised the Institute don't have their own version of power armor. But I suppose their main foot soldiers are synths, so why would they need the power armor? When they could just really build a synth that can take bullets. <laughs> can take like a few hundred clips of bullets, I guess. Here goes nothing. Yeah, I should probably just... Oh wow. That's... that's actually cool. Not the big cage looking thing in front of him, but uh, the helmet and whatnot. And the arms. Probably the legs. Can't see them. Yeah, that looks cool. Equip the institute grenade uh, flare things. There you go. Right here. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna take as much stuff from these bodies as I can. Something tells me I might need it. Oh my god, that was Proctor Quinlan. I killed Quinlan. And I had all that shit for him, like technical documents and other crap. Okay, run. I think that's a guy wearing power armor back there. Where'd they go? Reload and fire, go on. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I got the uh, 
overseer's guardian down here, haven't I? Okay, this isn't going ext you know, extremely well. Okay, I thought it would be a bit harder to get rid of these things, uh, like the, the jammers, but apparently not. Okay, so I should have a lot of backup now. I hope. Yeah, there's just going to be an endless wave of, of super mutants, isn't there? Okay, this is cool. I like this. Yay, Kiri's here. Cool. Oh, 
How am I gonna take out? Wait for it. Yeah. What is? I don't understand where that radiation is coming from. Oh god. Oh wow. I am surprised to see he's out and about. Oh, I fell. Oh no. This is, this is, <laughs> oh, this is the chaos. Oh, wow. Freezing radium rifle. I don't know what that is. Oh my god, was he a synth? Synth component. Come on, Kiri, let's go. Synth component. Okay, that was that was actually pretty fun. That was pretty chaotic. It was but more enjoyable than the bar Battle of Bunker Hill was this time around. Unit X-688 speaks highly of your combat skills. Cool. Hi. Pardon me, sir. I do wonder if I can go back there and just nick some stuff. But then again, it's all on fire, so probably not. Where does... 
where can I increase my lock picking skill? Let's pick pocket right from awareness. Locksmith, cool. Ah, oh, well, that was something. All right, let's go and talk to father. The nuclear family. Ah, oh, that was pretty cool. In the railroads version of that mission, you have to board the Predwin, shoot your way through the Predwin, and put um, an explosive device on the, on the, on its engines or one of its engines, where they like keep the helium or something. Not helium, what's it called? Was it helium? Might be helium. Wherever they keep some explosive gas or something like that, and uh, escape. And then, pretty much like that, you fly. Uh, Deacon flies a vertebird to safety, and you watch as the the airship comes tumbling down. I apologize for any disruptions that my work might cause you. Hello, Sean. Ah, there you are. I already heard the news, but of course you wouldn't be here if it weren't a success. I'm glad it worked, but. I'm glad you're safe. Are you comfortable? It's good of you to ask. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Just... Take care of the Institute. Take care of its people. They're good people. You know that. Ali has always been loyal to the Institute. And to me. You can rely on her for help. Once I'm gone, it's all up to you. Isn't there some other way? Another treatment that can help you? Nothing permanent, no. The inevitable could be delayed, but... at increasingly terrible cost, I simply decided... it wasn't worth it. Don't worry about me. You need to look ahead. Focus on the future. Our time together has been... strange, hasn't it? I spent years wondering what you were like. Thinking about all we missed out on. I want you to know that... I'm grateful for the time we've had. Do you really mean that? Yes. Of course I do. Thank you. Father, you've helped the boy achieve his dreams. I think... I think I'd like to sleep now. I've lost Sean. All over again. I close my eyes. I see my life before all of this. Before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant. And the future you plan for yourself shifts. Whether or not you're ready. At some point. It happens to all of us. This wasn't the world I wanted. But... It was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home. Ripped apart and put back together. I thought, I hoped, I could find my family, cheat time, make us whole again. The way we were. But now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed. That the road ahead will be hard. This time, I'm ready. Because I know war. War never changes.
All right. Well. Hey, I got the trophy for that. Yeah, that was kind of a that was a nice little ending actually for uh, for the game. Like uh, talking to Sean before he dies. I like that. That's a nice little touch. Whereas in if you go off the railroad, he leaves the synth son, the synth version of himself when he was a boy, um, for you to sort of be with and raise. If you side with the railroad or possibly the Minutemen, I think as well. No, it's the railroad. If you go for the Minutemen, you don't save any of the synths. I think you just blow up the institute place. Right. Wow. Okay. Let me go over here. All right. So that's pretty much it, I think, for um, for this walkthrough. I've forgot. I've got to the end. Uh, it's not the end of the game, though, as there's plenty of DLC and whatnot, and I'll get around to doing the DLC stuff uh, pretty soon. This won't be, be release. I won't be releasing this until about 2020. I'm recording it in October 2019, so chances are I will have uh, recorded all of the other bits of DLC and whatnot, and I'd be putting them, probably releasing them right after I release this. Thank you all for watching. If you've gotten this far in the walkthrough, then God bless you. you know, you've watched it all, and it means a lot. If you could possibly leave a like, leave a comment down below, and hit that subscribe button. That should be appearing on the screen any second. You can keep up to date with all the DLC walkthroughs that I'm go hopefully, hopefully going to be doing, and all the other walkthroughs I'm doing. And you can also uh, peruse the uh, list of playlists and walkthroughs and videos and whatnot that I have already made. Thank you all for watching again, it means a lot. Until next time though, whenever that may be, you take care of yourself and you have a great day.